Okay, YouTube. Um, it is actually May May second. Yep, May second, and I'm doing a retwist. Um, it's been a month since I retwisted my last time, I guess. Um, I'm I'm almost done. I just got this these two little ponytails to do in the front. I just decided to stop in and do like a quick video. Where is that? Is that? I just stopped in to, to do a quick video. Um, because I'm actually getting kind of like the same questions over and over again what I use for products Jamaican Mango and Lime, Lock and Cream Wax. This is what it looks like in the end. It's just like a, a little creamy stuff. And then I use Jamaican Mango and Lime Twist and Gel. I use these together. It's kind of, you know, like lard, but it's really, really good. Um, never retwist on a dry head or dry hair. Never retwist dry hair because it breaks it. So if you can, you know, either wash it first or use a spray bottle and spray it. Um, my techniques, I just twirl it around my finger until it feels good and then I just clip it. As you can see, I got my clips in. I just clip it and go from there. So, like, I might be able to do do one and y'all be able to see me do it. Hold on one second. Oh goodness. Okay. Um let me see what side. What is this? I'll do one on this side. At the top I'm gonna do this one right right here. See if y'all can see me doing it. I don't know how long again y'all if this cut short I'm sorry, I don't know what's up with YouTube, and I don't feel like grabbing my webcam, I mean my camera to do this, then uploading it and all this other stuff, it just takes way too long. So, this is the dread I'm going to do, well, lock that I'm going to do, wait, I can't tell my right from left on this camera, <laughs> having moments. Put that up now, where was it, okay spray bottle just spray spray just add the roots or whatever so it won't be like so dry and then I try to part it out make sure it is make sure look at me make sure like I do have my little parts there you see one there hopefully if I can't tell but you see one there so there's a part on the other side then I take my yellow goop get some more take my yellow goop put it around at the base I bring it down all the way down cuz for some reason like my dreads they unravel and when I say unravel it's like my dreads are locked to a certain point which is like right look, right there my dreads are locked to right here so all of this hair right here, oh, I'm applying the cream to it. This is the cream. So all my dread to about right here is just untwisted hair. So like say if I ever decided to, you know, cut my locks off, I will cut it at that point or I will comb them out or whatever. Dreads can be combed out, you guys. You might lose a, a significant amount of hair, but dreads can be combed out. I've done it to the back. I wanted to start the back over. But, um, this is, I don't know if y'all can see it, wait, um, this is just how I retwist it, you see how it looks, hopefully you can see how it looks, and usually I just take some more of the you know, orange stuff and just plop it around, kind of like for it to be like really, really wet when I sit under the dryer, so it can dry tight. I put a clip at the base, well, sorry cat. <laughs> I usually put a clip at the base, right, right there. Put a duck, another duck clip at the end, and then when I get more hair, I put it all in one clip. Um, again, normally these are all the products I use on my hair. I don't use anything different, and um, oil. That's it. Oil. After, but I rarely use oil because the cream keeps your scalp moist. So 
this is good because it keeps your scalp moist i love it and then you know i i just go from there see and i keep grabbing the wrong side moments i swear i have a lot of moments so then you know i just go have to change the position of the clip so i can you know get to my other hair where is it okay so now i grab the one next to it try my best to you know keep it even keep the other hair out the way and so forth see okay you see my square I got it you know all measured up that's my square throw it to the back wrap this up wrap yeah wrap that up put it in a bowl grab my orange goop I use a lot put it on it at the root because I told you majority of my hair is not twisted from from the root about three I want to say three inches up it's not twisted it's not locked so and then I put the cream on it and the cream kind of like just like holds everything together it's better than um Marais wax because it doesn't leave any build up no residue or anything like that it just makes everything nice and smooth as you can see um but like people I see people that are starting to lock their hair are using the Marais, Marais wax now I'm not gonna lie. When I first started my dreads, the chick started my dreads with the Murray's wax. Um, and you know, I I used it for a while until I noticed, you know, the buildup that I'm having a hard time here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wait, I'm having a hard time. Where is it? My arm is hurting. Who? I can't find it. Wait. I can't find it. Come here. No, this one. Here we go. Okay. Now I'm not gonna lie. I did use the Murray's wax. You know, the white one and a dark one. The the black wax left a lot of like residue and stuff on my pillows and on my scarves. The white one, it it was fine, but it it was just real clumpy and clunky and stuff like that. And I just I stopped using it because I found out that these waxes work a little bit better. They're not as um clunky and stuff like that so we're good to go and I've been sitting here recording for seven minutes and 43 seconds but the little thing isn't moving down at the bottom so I don't know hopefully this takes if not ah, well thanks